of an electric motor can be increased by increasing the number of loops making up each coil and or increasing the number of coils in the motor. The torque can also be increased by increasing the magnetic field strength. Electric motors in general consist of a spinning coil or coils called the rotor or armature and a stationary magnet called the stator. The terms stator and rotor refer simply to the stationary and spinning parts of an electric motor and there are a large number of configurations possible. An electric motor requires a magnetic field to operate as they depend on the force experienced by a current carrying coil in a magnetic field. Magnetic fields can be represented using magnetic field lines with the field direction indicated by the field lines and the field strength represented by the density of the field lines as can be seen in this illustration of the magnetic field surrounding a bar magnet. Permanent magnets are made of ferromagnetic materials and have a constant magnetic field. Permanent magnets vary in their strength and can be made in a range of shapes to suit different applications. Using a stronger permanent magnet can increase the torque of an electric motor, but there is a limit to the strength of permanent magnets. Electromagnets can allow a stronger magnetic field to be produced than that of a permanent magnet. An electric current flowing through a conductor produces a magnetic field. And the loop in a simple DC electric motor is in fact a simple electromagnet. Most electromagnets consist of a number of loops to increase the magnetic strength. The coil of an electromagnet is also usually wrapped around a core of ferromagnetic material. The orientation of the field of an electromagnet is given by the right hand rule. With the fingers lined up in the direction of current in the coil, the magnetic field direction is indicated by the thumb. The material making up the core of an electromagnet, often iron or steel, contains small regions called magnetic domains that act like very small magnets. These magnetic domains are usually oriented randomly in the material, so their magnetic fields cancel each other out and the core has no overall magnetic field. When a current is passed through the coil wrapped around the core, the magnetic domains line up parallel with the magnetic field due to the coil, increasing its strength. Electromagnets, as well as potentially producing a stronger magnetic field, also have the advantages of being able to vary in power as well as being able to be switched on and off. The coil of an electric motor is also usually wound around a ferromagnetic core, as this has the effect of amplifying the magnetic field in the coil, and therefore increasing the amount of torque that can be generated by the motor. As a simple electric motor consisting of a single loop of current carrying conductor turns, the torque changes as can be seen in the graph of torque versus the angle between the plane of the loop and the magnetic field direction. The force on the sides of the loop varies with the cosine of the angle between the loop and the magnetic field. The force acting on each side of the loop is constant in magnitude but the angle between the force direction and the normal to the plane of the loop changes, and therefore so does the torque as the loop rotates. The torque is at a maximum when the plane of the loop is parallel to the magnetic field, and zero when the plane of the loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Electric motors usually consist of a number of coils operating independently to minimise this effect. However, there is a slight variation in the speed of the motor as it rotates. In order to keep a constant torque, and thus a constant speed, as an electric motor turns, a radial magnetic field is required. A radial magnetic field can be produced by shaping the poles of the magnet, as can be seen in the diagram. In an electric motor with a radial magnetic field, the force on each side of a single current carrying loop changes direction as the loop rotates, staying at right angles or near right angles to the plane of the loop, so that the torque on the loop remains constant as it rotates.